Now check this out. This is real life shit. This is when I found out you cannot fight a female cannot whoop all boys' ass. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pick up a weapon or some shit. Now I had whooped his ass, and I didn't realize me whooping his ass. You know what I'm saying? Was him just being generous with me? Oh. You know what I'm saying? His mama told him you don't fight girls, but in my head I'm beep beep beep. You know I'm fucking him up. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Man, so, you know, you didn't tell us about the time when you got stuffed up there in, in prison when you got <laughs> popped in your damn mouth. <laughs> when you was walking down the hall and they did count time and old girl pushed you in the back of your damn head. <laughs> she like, this ain't happening. Yeah, you made some shit up. <laughs> It was it was a bitch who tried me. I beat that bitch out her motherfucking shoes and claw. I beat that bitch out her shit so good they paroled me. Get the fuck she out of fight. here! Remember she's been fighting for a long time. Uh, yeah, Have I you ever lost business. a fight? I did to this boy named John. Oh boy! I was twelve years old. <laughs> <laughs> that's some real <laughs> shit. May he rest in peace. I had oh, one job. Oh, no, that's a, that's a, he had a cold no, summer. No, no, no. He was going through some shit. Now, check this out. This is real life shit. This is when I found out you cannot fight. A female cannot whoop all boys' ass. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pick up a weapon or some shit. Now, I had whooped his ass. And I didn't realize me whooping his ass, you know what I'm saying, was him just being generous with me. Oh. You know what I'm saying? His mama told him you don't fight girls. But in my head, I'm beep, beep, beep. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so it had been a while, you know, and I was feeling I didn't have no business fucking with this boy. You know what I'm saying? He hadn't done shit to me no more. He had did something to me when I whooped his ass the first time, but this second time, I was just fucking with this boy off GP, just being a fucking bully. He caught my ass right there, right there on 70th and Wentworth. You, you know what I'm saying? I, hell yeah, I remember. You remember, you remember when you get your ass whooped now. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I don't, don't want to fight you. I'm going to drop my butt back, little dirty ass little girl. So like, what you going to do? What you going to do? You know what I'm saying? He's like, go on somewhere. I'm by his house, too. Because I was going to make an example. I was going to whoop his ass in front of his crib. Wow. Now, last time I got him in the schoolyard, this time, I was wow. going to whoop his ass in front of his crib. He was like, go on. And he was older. He was like, go on. on, on. I ain't on that. Fuck that. I'm on it. I'm going to do my shit off. <laughs> Extra tough. That boy pulled my shirt up over my head and whooped my ass. <laughs> he whooped my ass. Listen, I promise you, I could count the seconds every time his fist hit my face. Oh, wow. <laughs> I deserve that ass whooping. Wow. <laughs> you don't fuck wow. with people out here now. Man. I deserve that ass whooping. It just is what it is. That taught you, you know, a lesson. That's crazy. It taught me a lesson because next time I ran up on a boy, I knew how to pull his motherfucking shirt up over his head <laughs> and fuck his ass up. Pull that shirt up. Big, big, big. Slice them up and go on about my fucking man. business. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to wind this thing down, man. <laughs> so, so, do, do, she has so many, so do, much I, I stories. Mean, so, so out there in, in Chicago, I mean, do you listen to music? I love music. What I mean, cause I you, okay, I want to ask you. A&R for a record label. Oh, oh damn! You're like <laughs> damn! Like you know how to make niggas act around around people that's, that's trying to interview and all that. That ain't our position. Yeah, huh? I'm an A&R for a record label. Um, I'm an A&R for the Winter Circle, which we have a distribution deal with Rock Nation. Dope, man. So I was going to ask you the top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Number Mine. one. Yeah, it's yours. I ask that every episode, so I got to ask. Listen, I, okay, check this out. Number Tupac. one. Tupac. Tupac, for sure. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to go with, it's a boy who y'all don't know of. Okay. His name is KD Youngkaki. And I'm why? Like, yeah. KD, so he, listen, he has a style. He has his KD own. Because he's from Chicago. Chicago. I, you know what I'm saying? I need that interview when I get up there. Um, I interview that little nigga. Yeah, KD, if you, you look up KD, if you, you can't, if you look up KD Youngkaki, he has numbers. Now he write for people, this, that, and the third. He had a, um, he had a little, um, um, deal with Dev Jam this that, and the third but um, when I first first initially well when I was doing the music stuff initially before I even went to prison before I saw all the, the heavy hustling and shit I used to work with KD and he was a part of the winner circle mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and he's still he's still a part of him around but that boy right there when I say he has some talent on him he has talent on him and he's a good looking dude you know what I'm saying so he's marketable he what 
Listen, he got some shit. Like he got he got stuff. Like when I fell in love with music, it was because of him. Mm. I remember going to this party and I, I I had no clue. Like the people who I was with was the people who I was with. You know what I'm saying? So I go to this party and for one, I'm constantly listening to this run song on the radio because they playing this shit like crazy. And I remember him jumping out the car on 87th and Cottage Grove and him doing this little crazy ass dance. I'm still not knowing this is him on the radio. Yeah. So when we get to this party, um, he get up there and I swear to God. It's like everybody It had to be like 400 people That everybody rushed the stage And I witnessed something That I've been chasing Wow I've been chasing that feeling That I got that night For a very long motherfucking time And it has not been an artist Whether it be a mainstream artist Or an underground artist Who has delivered that Mm, you know wow, what I'm saying and I have artists of my own and I, I got a Nigerian artist his name Obad Poe he dope as fuck I got um, um, Mars he dope as fuck but I'm still chasing that feeling right there and they saying the Rock Nation you know what I'm saying they saying the Winter Circle so with you're the trying to find somebody like him it's, it's I just want him to shit I want <laughs> him. I don't, want I, him I don't even want nobody I don't even want him I just want to see How him you make approach it. him we, we friends. Lord, we, yeah, they know each other. I'm just locked in with them because of her. But yeah, we on Boss Talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk.